Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. And this is what is going on over at the Blank Park Zoo as we are chatting with our friend Julia Bingham. And, oh, it looks like she has one of her buddies uh, that she's going to introduce you to if we could talk to the animals. Julia, what would this animal be saying to you right now? Uh, he would be saying, hurry up and give me some more bananas. <laughs> Who are you trying to coax out of the carrier there? <laughs> uh, I have Leo with me. He is our prehensile-tailed porcupine. Oh, look at him. And he here. has been here for about four years. Okay. So this is a porcupine, you can say, and you mentioned prehensile tail. Uh, explain that for those uh, folks that may not understand what that means. <laughs> so hopefully he'll get the rest of the way out and we'll be able to see that tail. Here. So prehensile-tailed porcupines are also called South American porcupines. Okay. So they're native to the South American rainforest, and they have really, really long prehensile tails. And pretty much what that means is that they can use their tail as another hand. So while they're climbing, they'll hold on to the branches and even hang upside down by that tail. That is so awesome. I don't know if I've ever seen uh, you know, one up close like this, uh, but mm -hmm. tell you what it reminds you of. It reminds you of a possum almost. Uh, but a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's, it, at first that's what I thought it was when he was sticking his head <laughs> out of the crate there. Uh, but really nice and seems to be very gentle, huh? He is. He um, is one of our older porcupines, and he's always been very, very gentle taking food from us. Well, especially when you have his favorite treats is what it looks like there, mm -hmm. too. And uh, so uh, this, uh, this uh, is one of the animals uh, that you take around. Is that true? He does travel. Um, right now, we're working on expanding how long he's in the car. Okay. Right now, he really just kind of gets around the metro. Okay. But eventually, we'll be able to travel a little farther. Yeah, so we're, we're not traveling now, but these are some of the animals. Uh, we take the animals to different locations to introduce them to various mm -hmm. people. So uh, this is really cool on one of the uh, the animals you can discover. But uh, we uh, we're we going to keep on looking at this incredible creature. Uh, but I want to <laughs> find out about something else that is going on, too. We want to talk about the spring overnight safari happening uh, right in the middle of March. What's going on there? Yeah, so we are doing our safari camp this year, and we're offering an overnight on March 19th. And so that's going to be for kiddos 10 to 12 years old only. Okay, and uh, what is all involved here? Do we need to get signed up ahead of time? Yes, pre-registration is required. There's different pricing on the website for members versus non-members. And we'll have different activities. Um, they'll have dinner and breakfast. They'll get to meet some animals, a whole bunch of fun different things. So they're going to be able to hear all the nice sounds at the, at the zoo in the middle of the night, yeah. which is kind of fun. That is really cool. Now, tell us about the STEM boxes again. We talked about these previously, but these are pretty cool. Yeah, the STEM boxes are a really fun thing we started doing this year. Um, so you can actually order STEM activities through us and we'll ship you everything you need for the activity, um, instructions and a lesson plan to go with it. Um, and so these are really fun ways for kids to experience science um, and everything kind of in that field. All right. And you have another session of Blank Park University coming up too, right? We do. We have our Cory Buster one coming up. So we're going to learn about quarry buster conservation as well as fly fishing and how those kind of relate to each other. All right. Very cool. All right. For the, this and more information about what you can find at your Blank Park Zoo, where can they uh, go and get all that information? You can go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, our website, call us. Lots of options. Yeah, Hope for the Wild Speaker Series. Uh, that is really exciting. That is really cool. But uh, we appreciate everything that the Blank Park Zoo does on a daily basis. We uh, And also, really cool meeting uh, the porcupine uh, with the prehensile yeah. tail. How cool is that? Julia, you take care of yourself. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks, you too.